What if I told you Tesla just cracked the code to a $20,000 electric car that charges faster than you can finish your coffee? While the world was busy watching SpaceX rockets, Elon quietly weaponized aluminum, yes, the same metal in your soda can, into a battery that could force China's EV giants into full retreat mode. Nine-minute charges, cold-proof performance, production starting now. But here's what nobody's asking. If Tesla can build this for 20 grand, what happens to every other car maker still selling $35,000 budget EVs with 30-minute charge times? The aluminum ion revolution isn't coming. It's already rolling off the line. Let's dive right in. Here's the part that should terrify Detroit and Beijing equally. While BYD and CATL were celebrating their victory in the sub $30,000 segment, Tesla quietly moved the goalpost to $20,000. The aluminum ion chemistry slashes raw material costs by $700 per vehicle compared to lithium ion. When your battery pack drops from $8,500 to $7,800, suddenly that $20,000 price tag isn't fantasy. It's math. But this isn't just about being cheap. Tesla is promising 9-minute charging, 280 to 320 kilometer range, and 6.2 seconds zero to 100 kilometers per hour acceleration, all in a $20,000 package. So the question becomes, if Tesla delivers even 80% of these promises, what happens to every $35,000 budget EV currently sitting on dealer lots? Traditional lithium batteries move one electron per reaction. Think single-lane highway during rush hour. Aluminum ion batteries? They operate with multi-electron reactions, meaning three lanes of traffic moving simultaneously in the same physical space. This isn't incremental improvement. It's fundamental physics working differently. Internal Tesla testing shows cells achieving full charge in under 10 minutes while maintaining current peaks above 180 kilowatts throughout the charging cycle. Compare that to current LFP batteries that dramatically taper off after 60%. The aluminum chemistry stays aggressive longer, eliminating charging anxiety where you watch percentage crawl from 70% to 80%. The numbers. Energy density between 185 to 200 watt-hours per kilogram versus China's LFP at 165 to 175 watt-hours per kilogram. That 15 to 20% advantage means either smaller, lighter packs with equal range or same size packs with 40 to 60 kilometers extra distance. For a compact car, this is the difference between making it home or calling a tow truck. But here's what analysts missed. The discharge curve predictability. Current batteries show 40% remaining, then suddenly drop to 20% in the last 50 kilometers. Aluminum ion maintains linear discharge meaning the range estimate at 100% stays accurate at 20%. When's the last time you could trust an EV dashboard completely? Can infrastructure even handle 9-minute charging? Tesla's rebuilding supercharger networks from inside out, energy buffer systems, liquid cooling for sustained 320-plus kilowatts peaks, and converters specifically designed for aluminum ion chemistry. This isn't just a battery upgrade, it's ecosystem transformation. Field tests in Nevada showed something remarkable. While traditional fast charging creates thermal stress that degrades batteries, aluminum ion dissipates heat more efficiently during high current cycles. Cells operate stably between minus 29 degrees Celsius and 44 degrees Celsius, even under maximum charging load. You can rapid charge in Arizona summer or Minnesota winter without killing battery lifespan. The thermal management uses dual-layer cooling with microchannels, 
heat extraction happens 35% faster than previous designs. Think about what this enables. Coast-to-coast -coast driving with 9-minute charging stops instead of 30-minute breaks. That's the difference between electric cars are for short trips and electric cars replaced my gas car completely. Here's my analysis. This thermal stability might be more valuable than charging speed itself. Battery degradation is the silent killer of EV resale value. If aluminum ion cells maintain 85% capacity after 280,000 kilometers because they run cooler, Tesla just solved the 10-year battery replacement fear, keeping millions from buying electric. Remember when EVs lost 25% range below freezing? Aluminum ion batteries at minus 12 degrees Celsius showed efficiency loss of only 11 to 14 percent, compared to 25 percent for LFP. This is verified cold weather data that would make any Chicago driver smile. The weight advantage compounds benefits. Eliminating graphite and using compact designs drops the battery pack 8 to 12 kilograms compared to lithium systems. Less weight means better efficiency, more real-world range, smaller batteries needed, lower cost. It's a virtuous cycle. Performance numbers tell the story. 6.1 to 6.5 seconds from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour puts Model 2 ahead of Chinese competitors, typically running 7.0 to 8.2 seconds. Not supercar territory? but quick enough to make driving fun and highway merging safe. Tesla's proving you don't sacrifice driving dynamics to hit budget pricing. For over a decade, China dominated entry-level EVs through manufacturing scale and subsidies. BYD produces millions of sub-$30,000 vehicles annually. Cal supplies batteries to half the world's automakers. They built an empire on LFP chemistry. Safe, cheap, proven. Then Tesla announces aluminum ion at $20,000 with specs 30 to 40% better across every consumer facing metric. Charging time cut by 70%. Cold weather performance doubled. Acceleration improved by a full second. All while undercutting Chinese prices by $10,000. The strategic implications are staggering. BYD invested billions into LFP production scaling. Those factories are now potentially obsolete. Retooling for new chemistry takes years and billions more. Meanwhile, Tesla's Nevada and Shanghai facilities are running aluminum ion production pilots, targeting 38 to 45 gigawatt hours by end of 2026, enough for 750,000 to 900,000 vehicles annually. Here's my read. This isn't just competition. It's a calculated strike at China's core advantage. Musk is saying, you win on scale and price? Watch me beat you on both while adding technology you can't match. If Tesla executes even 70% of this plan, Chinese automakers face existential crisis. While everyone obsesses over chemistry, Tesla quietly revolutionized manufacturing. The new 4080 cell, smaller than the famous 4680, creates shorter thermal paths and better aluminum ion compatibility. This design change enables 40 to 55 seconds faster production time per cell. Multiply that by millions of cells yearly, and efficiency gains are massive. The assembly line was completely reimagined. Machines handle thicker aluminum layers, faster electrolyte saturation, graphite-free structures. Production cost per cell drops 12 to 15 percent, while output speed increases 18 percent. Tesla learned brutal lessons from 4680 production struggles. Those expensive mistakes now prevent repeating failures. The aluminum ion line uses faster drying, less moisture-sensitive steps, lower curing temperatures. Let's war game market impact. 
traditional automakers sell affordable EVs at $35,000 to $40,000 with compromised range, slow charging, mediocre performance. Tesla drops a $20,000 car, beating them in every metric. What's the rational consumer response? Disruption cascades. Used EV values collapse. Why buy a two-year-old Chevy Bolt for $22,000 when a new Model 2 costs less with better everything? Dealers panic with inventory. Traditional manufacturers face brutal choices. Match Tesla's price and lose money per unit. Or maintain margins and watch market share evaporate. This reveals the aluminum ion strategy's genius. It's not just better battery, it's a market restructuring weapon. By simultaneously improving performance and slashing cost, Tesla creates a value gap competitors can't bridge with current technology. They'd need their own chemistry breakthrough, two to three years development, billions in factory investment, and flawless execution. How many automakers can pull that off? Let me be direct about imperfections. Aluminum ion cells don't reach the 2,500 cycle lifespan of LFP batteries before capacity degradation begins. They compensate with lower stress per cycle, but total math still favors LFP for ultra-high mileage applications like taxis. Infrastructure upgrade is expensive and time-consuming. Early Model 2 buyers in certain regions might experience slower charging until infrastructure catches up. The $20,000 price requires strategic compromises. Base interior materials, fewer luxury features, simplified manufacturing. But here's what's remarkable. Even with limitations, the value proposition is overwhelming. You're getting electric motivation, advanced safety, over-the-air updates, and supercharger network access for the price of a base Toyota Corolla. That's the real revolution, making electric vehicles genuinely accessible without compromise. So here's the answer to that question we started with. What happens when Tesla delivers a $20,000 EV that beats $35,000 competitors? The entire automotive hierarchy collapses. Not gradually, violently. Because once consumers realize they can get superior technology for 40% less money, there's no going back to good enough. But here's what fascinates me most. This isn't just about Tesla winning. It's about the entire EV adoption curve accelerating by 5 to 10 years. When electric becomes genuinely cheaper than gas, not with subsidies or tax credits, but raw sticker price, we cross a threshold that changes everything. The aluminum ion breakthrough is Tesla's weapon. But the real impact is forcing every automaker to either innovate or die. And this is just the beginning. If Tesla hits 750,000 Model 2 units by end of 2026, we're looking at the fastest mass market EV rollout in history. The question then becomes, what happens when this chemistry scales to Cybertruck? To semi? To grid storage? Here's what I want to know from you. Do you think traditional automakers can respond fast enough? Or are we watching the beginning of an industry extinction event? Drop your predictions below. I'm genuinely curious where you think this goes in the next 24 months. This is Tech Revolution, and we're tracking every move in the EV wars. If you want deep analysis on what's really happening behind the headlines, you know where to find us. The $20,000 revolution isn't coming. It just arrived. And the shockwave is spreading faster than anyone expected.